Greetings and welcome to the introduction to physical science. In this video, we are going to walk through the circuit construction kit lab and look at some of the controls that you will be using when you do this lab. So if you're not already started, you press play to get it started here. And we have two sections. There is an introduction and there is a lab. In the intro, you have a few things to play with. So you can build simple circuits such as a battery with a wire. Put a couple wires on it here and let's connect a light bulb to that. And we can put the light bulb down here and we just have to connect and connect. And now we have a flow circuit and we can see the electron flow through the current through the current and that illuminates the bulb. Now we can play with a number of different things here. We can look at we have show the current already. We have the labels. We can turn on values if you want to know the voltages and the resistances and you may need those for some of the things. You can also measure things like the current. So the ammeter here will allow you to measure the current and you just have to put it right there on the wire and it will tell you that there is nine tenths of an amp of current going through those wires and that will be the same any place. Now the other thing you can do is if you need to start over if you click on these you can click the scissors and break the circuit so now nothing is flowing again and if you wanted to add say a second light bulb you could do that and put wires to connect them one there one here and now we have it flowing again now what does that change well now the current is less why is the current less? Well, you'll see that and that's due to Ohm's law. Ohm's law tells us the relationship between the current, the voltage and the resistance. We've added more resistance because we've added a second light bulb here. So there's going to be less current going through and the light bulbs will both be dimmer. So there's all sorts of different things you can add in here. You have resistors, you have switches, you have all sorts. You can put a fuse in, you can put a dollar bill, a paper clip, a coin and various different things that will some of them will allow electricity to flow and others will not. So again, we can delete that if we want. And if we wanted to instead put an eraser in between here, then what's going to happen? Nothing. That eraser is not a good conductor of electricity, so it is going to therefore not allow it things to flow. Now let's go ahead and move on and let's look at the actual lab section here and you'll see it's pretty much exactly the same. There's a few differences. There's an advanced section here where you can adjust resistivity of the wires. So any wire would have some resistance to it too. That's neglected generally, but there is some resistance there and you may need to take that into account. So we can put our little uh, here together and we can also add the battery resistance. So very little for most of these. So now if we want to put some things together, such as we want to put a switch in here and then we want to add in a um, let's do a light bulb again. We'll put a light bulb in. And as we connect those, then we will see that what happens? Well, absolutely nothing. Why? Our switch isn't connected. So if we actually connect the switch there, now current can flow, but we can also turn that off if we want to. Now you can also do some things here and experiment. Let's go ahead and disconnect this and let's actually let's just get rid of our bulb altogether. What would happen if we just connected this wire to the battery? Well, now there's no resistance. So we put that through and we're starting a fire because the current is going too fast. There is no way to be able to stop that. Now that's not actually correct because normally there'd be some resistance to the wire and some resistance to the battery. And that would keep the electrons from flowing as fast as you might otherwise think. But when you have no resistance there, it just flows through infinitely and would then reach the limit. So let's go ahead and look at some of the other things that you can build. So let's go ahead and clear this and delete that. But because what we can build is different types of circuits. So we can build in this case. We can build circuits that are series and that's what we've been doing. But you may also be asked to build a parallel circuit. So let's look and build one parallel circuit here. And in a parallel circuit, we have these connected. And we're going to want another bulb in parallel. And as we connect these, we will have this one connected here, this one connected here. Now we have our series circuit, but we can also connect this one in parallel by connecting here and connecting here. And now we have two bulbs. 
Now, interestingly, when we look at it in parallel, let's show our values again. We still see that's exactly the same as we had it in series before. And the current is now 1.8 amps. So it's different through each of these. So you can see that 0.9 is going through this bulb, 0.9 is going through this bulb. But in total, we're going to have 1.8 amps going through the entire circuit. And if you notice, the bulbs are essentially the same brightness. And that's because they both have the same amount of current going through them. And it's more current than we had in the series circuit. In the series circuit, they were split. And the amount of current was less than we would otherwise have expected. So you're going to play with a number of these different things and build various different circuits and you may use some of these other different things to put in here to be able to build different circuits and to try to get a little bit a better idea of how these electric circuits work. Now we're looking only at the one type. There are AC circuits as well. I'm not going into those in my class, but there are simulators that will go through an AC circuit as well. So that concludes this discussion on the circuit king at for class. We'll be back again next time to discuss another one of our labs. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.